You wanna know how I got these scars? <laughs> these scars. <laughs> and here we go. Hey guys, Eric here um, with my friend Billy. Thanks for tuning into the channel today. We're here with the Prime One Studio. Joker Say Cheese, uh, obviously third scale, huge, tall statue. Uh, we're just going to give our quick overview and thoughts on the piece, and then after that, I'll give you some up-close uh, shots of the statue. So, um, yeah, obviously this is your statue. We just unboxed it. What are you thinking so far? Thanks for your help. Thanks, Miss Alyssa. Because <laughs> um, this was... Uh, we definitely struggled we definitely putting struggled, it together. Yes, yeah. <laughs> some of these pieces, you know, they fit really good, but they have a peg, so you got to, you know, find a hole or whatever. But... Uh, Looking at it, I saw this one in person at uh, Midtown Comics, and um, he, but they have him a little higher, so it's okay. kind of hard to see all this up here. Yeah. Uh, seeing him, you know, eye level in my room, you know, he's he is awesome, big. He's heavy. I can't even. Yeah, support. he's he's heavy. He's big. Um, huh? Like uh, like everyone, not a fan of the seams, but they are in the back. You know what I'm saying? Uh yeah. So we have. He's heavy. Either that the turntable needs some oil. <laughs> All right, so we have yeah. So the way it works is the the smoke. What well, it should be actually gas. Whatever you want to call it, keys in. So I would say the one in the front's not that bad, but there is a noticeable seam on the one in the back. But again, it's in the back, so you're probably not going to see that. Um, how's the one on the right? Maybe a little bit on the right. This one right here. No, it's not that bad. You know, and again, I think Robin would, depending on the angle that you have him, he probably would block that i that's the bad one and it's in the back yeah it's in the so back it's not if you're looking to get this piece it's not a deal breaker at all um there's been a few reviews and unboxings of this thing already but um for me it was the portraits man that's what sold it so oh, yeah we were talking about the portraits and i was saying i was not a fan of the portraits i've seen the statue you know on video reviews and in pictures um, it's not that I didn't like like the sculpt and the paint. I just wasn't a fan of the style of the portraits. But now seeing them in person, they actually do look good. Uh, especially the the Jim Lee and the Jason Fabok. So this is, this is the Fabok on yeah. here. It's like I was always a fan of. That's a Jim Lee also as well. Yeah, right? yeah. I was always a fan of that one, and now I'm actually becoming fans of the other two as well. Um, but yeah, just getting back to the base real quick. Obviously, you know, it, it all keys in uh, as far as the paint. It looks pretty cool It starts off with the light green and then kind of billows up to a darker green uh, You have the Joker playing cards on the smoke uh, The cards are a little thick looking, but you know, there's really nothing you could do about that. I mean It's not like, you know, you can't sculpt them super skinny. So that's something to take into consideration But I mean, would you I don't know does it need the playing cards? I think it would have been all right without the playing cards. Maybe it would have been fine without it. I wouldn't even, yeah. I wouldn't have thought about it. I mean, it might have been fine just gas cans. And if you took Robin out and put a gas can, yeah. I wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't have stopped me from buying it. He's not, you know, a selling point for me. He looks cool. You know, he's, you know, like Chris said, when he unboxes, he's big. He's a one third Robin. Yeah. You know, and, um, he looked, the ropes look good. The ropes um, look good, yeah. So now we did have a slight issue with that foot going down again like uh chris and dan both said his foot not coming down all the way not sure if that's a production thing if it's supposed to go down or maybe it's supposed to be a little gap here i have no idea it's like but, what it's like a quarter quarter inch gap maybe yeah he foot. doesn't go down all the way so like you so said, we're gonna heat this up try to move it a little bit but other than that he's pegged in there so this foot kind of supposed to sit there's an indate uh indentation for his yeah. foot but not sure. Not a fan of the tire, but I didn't even notice that to be honest. Yeah, I guess he needs something to put his foot on. Yeah, it could have been more. It's weird that they chose a tire. Just, yeah, it yeah. Just, 
had more brick than it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, and then there's the little bat guy. The bat guy, it's I in think, the back at least. I think that, you know, look at that, they're kind of throwing those on all of them. Yeah, so these, what do they call I think they call them the, the, the cutie the something. Cuties, yeah. So we have the, the cutie Batman doll, but at least it's in the back. Mm. Um, he also is removable, right? Was there, a, a, no, was there a peg or anything? No, he's got a magnet in his butt. All right, so if you didn't like it, you can take it off and there wouldn't be like a hole or anything. You're not looking at the statue from back yeah. there. Anyway, so you, got, you wouldn't even know it was back there. Yeah. But um, he's super big. The he's, paint. He's tall. Um, you know, we got the Jimenez. Jimenez Joker, the Bermejo. They're both great. But if you want a classic Joker, classic suit, looks like something uh when i saw it, it kind of reminded me of uh scooby-doo and friends the <laughs> yeah. suit that he had on if you ever saw the cartoon okay this is kind of like that purple that he that, that he had you know so yeah and the suit does have texture to it i don't think that really shows up in photos a lot uh in person it's got like these horizontal lines to the actual jacket and then the pants legs have the vertical lines running through them um, as far as paint, it's just, you know, mostly purple. There's not like a ton of shading or highlighting. Although in the light, I kind of see like a, maybe a slightly different purple hue there. It's very subtle. Uh, yeah, the portraits are really nicely painted. Nice gloss on the eyes and on the teeth. And I don't know, anything else you want to cover? Covered Robin, I guess. The ropes look good. You know, I think, um, you know, I, I was a little nervous about the gas the smoke yeah it doesn't look bad you know when you're seeing it in person it, it doesn't look great on pictures and it doesn't look great in video but i remember when dan was unboxing his he said that uh it didn't look cheesy you know <laughs> well, and it it, name. <laughs> it it doesn't it looks it looks better in person they did a great job with the uh the shading you know as far it looks like smoke yeah you know it does it, it looks better than that to be honest with you. it does it, it looks almost that's the tech 1000 over there it's definitely better than the tech 1000 smoke yeah you know where it's got a little blue yeah then the white you know but that smoke this is coming from a bit where this gas, is gas. Maybe? Yeah. yeah it's again but uh it does uh the gas can looks it, pretty cool it does look really the gas cans look good nice metal like shine on it metallic looks real yeah but uh like i said the rest of the statue is it, it it's great it's a decent surprise but you know he could have been sitting on a rooftop and i probably would have got it anyway because of, cause yeah. of the head sculpts you know you get three of them you get stands yeah it comes which with is always fun two stands we got two stands for the three heads one obviously would be on the statue uh different swap outs for the hands there is a crowbar crowbar There's which knife. all right so it's so the crowbar yeah. had green on it the crowbar had some like green her. Didn't, wasn't a fan of the green. Um, I'm guessing it's some residue of the gas, but uh, not a fan of the green. I was uh, seeing if I knew somebody who did some <laughs> custom paint work and stuff that could probably just try to squeeze it in. Yeah, just take off the the green and maybe just make it like a like a you know just like a crowbar. Yeah. You know, just like do some metal on it. Maybe do some blood splatter on it. Yeah. But uh, it's not bad either if you don't have a friend who does that kind of stuff. It's not well, bad. It's not you know. And there's a knife too. Yeah. I agree on the crowbar. The crowbar is this high in the air, if it's even on frame, because he's tall. And the smoke is that, well, the gas is down here. So it is kind of weird that they added a greenish effect to it. I mean, if it's all the way up here, you could have done the same thing the Joker. Joker could have had green all over had green him. On him, yeah. So why, they didn't do yeah, it. why put it on the crowbar? Yeah, I was never a fan so, of, like, a little weird. doing a paint effect on the actual statue. Yeah. Which is even, like, the new Batman Joker Dio from Sideshow, where his cape is on fire. Yeah. Not a fan of that, but... Yeah, I forget they call that like forced lighting or something like that. It's cool. Well, there's actual flames on this cave. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, the yeah, flames. Yeah, so, but um, and there, um, there's a knife, there's a crowbar, knife, crowbar, the selfie stick, selfie stick, which adds to the height. Obviously, it's cool. You know, if you want to pair it up with the um, Batman Hush Bat Cave, this hand also gets a uh, cane. Okay. Yeah, the cane was cool. Out, yeah, the cane was. Yeah, out. we didn't look at most of the parts yet. We'll we'll no. check that out after this. But um, but no matter which switch out you have, he's yeah. he's tall. All the switch outs go up high, no matter what. So. He's about thirty eight to thirty nine inches, something like that. Yeah. So he's he's pretty big, and heavy, but uh, it's a solid, solid piece. Like I said, it's got some issues, but they're not deal breakers if you guys are on the fence about this one. The headstands are nice. So you get like they the uh, the torso, almost like you know the upper 
half of his, you know, neck and an actual bust. The cut out of yeah, oh. bust. There you go. <laughs> it's an actual bust. And uh, you get a little bit of the the smoke or you know the gas effect on the actual stands. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, to me, um, every Prime One statue who comes with multiple portraits should have stands. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely somewhere to put it. Even for um, this one, he's got three heads as well. He didn't come with any stands, yeah. and they're all good. You know. So and for Tech One Thousand, if you got the deluxe, you got the actual bus stand, but it's just one. He comes like three heads, so. You know, whatever. I don't know what they, the thought process is into like, okay, we'll give this one stands, this one doesn't, but. I guess maybe if it fits in the box. Uh, but this one is good though. This one is uh, price, a lot maybe. of, yeah, for the price. When, and they're all around 2000 once you, you know, get them out yeah, there. It's a big piece. He does come with a lot of stuff though. You know, the switch outs for the left, switch outs for the right, multiple portraits, stands, another character. You know, if it's half of his body and he's tied up. It's definitely got presence to it. Uh, the first thing I said was, yeah, I, I think I said in Chris's video as well, is the green catches your eye right away. This green, there's like over probably 50 statues in this room. This thing stands out against every other statue because of the bright colors on it. Yeah, he's dope. All right, so Thanks I for think coming that's over, it. Man. Yeah. Thanks for, I think this is the first statue you've ever, we're gonna do this again though. Okay, I'm, on my house? Yeah, we're going to do this okay. again. Bad Suit Joker. Yeah, I have Bad Suit Joker coming in, Hope maybe in a few weeks. So we'll by the time they see this, that'll probably be your next statue yeah. unboxing. So I'll be there for that. Okay, and that'd be cool. <clears throat> that's a statue that I told you off camera I wasn't going to get, but um, and I'm usually never really excited about a statue that I'm not getting. That one I'm pumped up for. I'm, a, I'm excited and nervous. I'm excited because it's, it's going to look cool. I'm nervous. It's gonna to be too big and not fit in my space, but we'll see what happens. Don't oh, we'll worry about that afterwards. Yeah. Like I'm super pumped up about that one. I think that one's gonna be, you know, like I, it didn't, it didn't click with me in the beginning. As uh, and shout out to Tyler and Lewis, who they did like it from the beginning. Two of my boys, and um, they kept trying to sell me on it, and I was like, eh, I don't like it. So whatever. After a while though, and then when I think. Jimenez himself put some pictures on Instagram and yeah. he kind of saw it next to a person finally. You yeah, know? yeah. When he when he unboxed his, I was like, all right, that that it looks big, but it looks dope. Yeah. I, I'm definitely excited about that. I'm glad you're getting that one. Yeah, I'm excited for it. All right, so we'll wrap this up. Uh, I'll show you guys some, you know, up close shots on the video and uh stay tuned to the channel for the next review. Thanks for watching.
see, I'm a guy of simple taste. I enjoy uh, dynamite and gunpowder and gasoline. 